and welcome back to Sundays in the Garden. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and on this channel I share all of the things I'm getting up to in my English cottage garden and kitchen garden area. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe so you can follow along with everything I'm doing in the cottage garden and kitchen garden area in the remainder of 2024 and into 2025. In today's video, plans have changed rather because we were starting a project this morning which we have made really good progress with but we have not been able to continue um, due to unforeseen circumstances which I will share with you in my next video when I post the completion of the project. So instead of posting that video today, I'm going to plant up some purple sprouting broccoli, some cabbages and sow my broad beans which were my massive success story last year so I'm really hoping they do as well again next season. Okay, so the two varieties of raw beans that I'm going to put in are exactly the same ones as I put in last year because we're hoping for the same result. Uh, they went in beginning of November last year and I had some red epicure and I also had some Bunyard's Exhibition, both from Unwinds. And uh, I'm going to just do exactly what I did last year and really hope that we get as many amazing broad beans as we did last year. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a wooden spoon like this and then I'm going to make a hole. Um, where am I going to start? About here, I think. Um, about five centimetres deep. Um, and then I'm going to move about ten centimetres along and make another hole about five centimetres deep. I'm going to do that all the way to the end of the bed and then pop one variety, uh, one particular variety, so probably the Banyards exhibition along this row and then I'm going to go over to the other side of the bed and then put all of the um, other variety along the other side, the red epicure and then we'll cover them over, give them a good water and hopefully they will do as well for me as last year's. And if you want to see a video of how I went from sowing them to harvesting my broad beans then I'll put a link in the description and you can search back on my older videos and it was probably about June time I shared the full process uh, video so check that out if you would like to see this process from beginning to end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I've got all of these holes now which are five centimetres deep and 10 centimetres apart and I'm going to now just pop these little beans into the hole um, and last year I don't know if there is a particular way around they would recommend you put these in but to be honest I just popped them in the hole and they all came up absolutely fine um, because seeds do know what they're doing and they can find the light one So now that they're all in, I'm just going to cover them over and then give them a good water. Okay, that's the broad beans in. And now we come to this bed where I'm going to plant my purple sprouting broccoli. Before I can plant the purple sprouting broccoli, I need to solve the mystery that we started last week when we saw that there was something growing in this bed. I wasn't sure if it was turnips because I planted some tiny little turnip seeds in here before I went away in August and completely ignored them and wasn't sure what was going to happen with them. Um, so I thought maybe these are turnips. I've never grown turnips before. But the very clever, very astute Claire at the farmyard garden said they look like onions to me and they do look like onions. And what was in this bed before I cleared it? Onions. So we're going to dig up these now and see if we do indeed have onions under the ground. What do you know? The tiniest onion. So Claire, you were right. Probably if I left these in, they might do something. 
but uh, these aren't uh, where I want my onions so these are going to come out I'm going to clear any weeds in this bed and then we'll pop in the purple sprouting broccoli okay so I've now weeded the bed I'm going to rake it over and then plant in the purple sprouting broccoli So because I hadn't got round to sewing my brassicas, um, I ordered some clearance brassicas from Marshall's Garden, Sprouting Broccoli, Purple Cardinal. Um, so I'm going to put these in and then cover them with some white netting. One here. There's 12 in this cell tray. They all look really healthy, so really uh, recommend Marshall's Gardens for some clearance brassicas if you haven't got yours already sewn and you want to get some in because these look lovely. I'm putting them about 50 centimeters apart um, which should be doable in this bed for six by six uh, in a row. Yeah, six, two rows of six. I think these were about six pounds um, in clearance so really good value um, obviously not as good value as if I'd have got round to sowing the seeds because you can get a seed packet for a less than a pound and there are usually hundreds of seeds so nowhere near the value of that but if you are stuck these will still produce a lot more than if you were going to buy um, broccoli yourself in the shops so this should still be a great saving on shop bought plus much more uh, nutritious and straight from the garden with no food miles which is great so that is all of those in i'm now going to give all the broad beans a water all of these guys a water and then cover the brassicas with a net. Now I've got these small hoops that I use to cover the carrots and the parsnips and I'm going to put these over um, the broccoli until it gets a bit bigger and then I'll move on to a larger hoop system. Um, but this should be fine while they're really small just to get them covered today one two three four five six i can actually put one next to each set so we'll do that one there one there I'll go around the other side and push them in properly in a moment and one there And I think the longer you garden, the more you start gathering little things like this um, that make life easier. When you think, oh, okay, I need to cover those now, you start to gather these little things over time. So when we first moved in, I didn't have any of these sorts of things. Um, and I've just been gathering them over a period of time. So now when I need to come and do a job like this, the tools are there, which is brilliant. This is mainly... Uh, this is mainly pigeon protection at the moment really so now I'm going to cover it with the net and the net is really really large so as they grow I can keep the same net and raise it up um, and put in some different supports so that net should see them through the whole of their growth cycle which is really really cool you can leave it like that let's have a look So that is those in and netted and I'm really pleased with that because that should last a good few weeks before I need to do anything else with them now. So hopefully they'll do well. So 
despite things not going to plan in terms of my other project today, I've managed to get the broad beans in, I've managed to get the purple sprouting broccoli in, so it's not been a completely wasted day. And next week, hopefully, I'll be able to finish the project we started this morning and share that with you because that is really exciting. Have a lovely week, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye!